Hello all, in this video, we'll be seeing how to import data into Janus Graph, how to export data into Janus Graph using the Gremlin console. Let's move ahead and understand it first how it's done. By seeing this diagram, we can understand it very clearly that to import the data, we should have a JSON file or an XML file in a specified format which is understandable by the Janus Graph TV. And we provide this particular file in the specified format to the Janus Graph DB and just run a utility in it to import the data. In the same way, Janus Graph also provides a utility to export the data. And it exports the data in the same format in a JSON file or an XML file. So the JSON format given by the Janus Graph is termed as GraphSum. And the XML format that is provided by the Janus Graph is known as GraphML. Let us understand what these formats are. The first one is the GraphSum format. In the left hand side here, you can see a sample graph which we will be using to understand this. Just see this red rectangle. In this rectangle, we have two vertices. One with the ID 1 and second with the ID 2. And thirdly, it has an edge with a label nose. Vertex 1 has two properties, name and age. Name is Marco and the value of age is 29. Vertex 2 also have two properties, name and age, the value of name is Vedas and age is 27. An edge between 1 and 2 have only one property that is weight and its value is 0 0.5. Now let's see how it is represented in Graphson. In the right side here, you can see the Graphson representation of this particular red rectangle. See, this is the ID of the vertex that is 2 with a label person. You can see this here. Now the third property is in E. In E specifies the edge inwards to 2. That is, it is specifying all the edges which is coming inwards to vertex 2. Here you can see that there is one edge which is coming inwards from 1 to 2. This ID here, it is just for an internal use. This out V shows that what is the ID of the vertex that is going outwards, which is this vertex. Now it is showing the properties of edges. Here our edge only have one property that is weight and the value is 0 0.5. Now the next thing in the JSON is properties. This property consists of all the key and the value. That is, it is showing that that vertex 2 have a key name and its value is Vedas and you can see this here. It also have a key age and its value is 27 and this ID here and here it is just for internal use. Now let's move ahead and understand GraphML format. In the left we are showing the same graph and the same red rectangle. On the right we have a representation of GraphML which is representing this rectangle. From here till here we have a metadata of graph. That is what are the key names, that is name, language, age, what are the labels. After this section, we have a node section. Here we can see two nodes, node with id1 and node with id2. These are representing these two nodes, this one and this one. Now the first key here is showing what is the label, that is person. The second one is the name and third one is the age. And these between are the values. Now to represent edges, we have an edge tag. Here we can see that we have a source and a target. Source is 1 and target is 2. It is showing that vertex with id1 is connected to vertex with id2 with this edge. In the key, we can see the label that is nose. And secondly, the property weight and its value 0 0.5, which can be cross-checked from here. So these are the formats which are used by Janus Graph to import and export data. Now let's use a sample file and try to import data into Janus Graph. Here we can see two utilities which are given by Janus Graph to import data. The first one here is used to import GraphSun. The second one here is used to import GraphML. Let's understand the command more clearly. Firstly here we have a graph object. If you don't know about what a graph object is, how to create it, just watch our previous videos. You can see that here in the tag. I will also put the link in the description. 
Now there is a method which is called on graph object that is IO which take input that what format do we need to use. If we need to use a graphson then we need to provide graphson here. If we need to use graph ml we need to provide graph ml here. Now there is a utility or method called read graph which takes the path of the file in which the actual data reside. Now let's open the terminal and do this practically. Use Ctrl Alt T to open the terminal. Let me zoom in a bit. Now let's go to the Janus graph distribution that we have. Let's open the Gremlin console using bin gremlin.sh. Maybe some of you don't know how to use a Gremlin console. You can see our previous videos for that. Let's open a new graph using command graph equal to tinkergraph.open. Now we can see that we have created a new graph in which vertices are zero and number of edges are also zero. Now let's import the graph using graph.io graphsum read graph and the file that we need to use. If you don't have these files, don't worry about that. I'll be updating this in my Git repository and provide the link in the description. Now let's hit enter and create the graph. Just to check the data, let's create the traversal object using g equal to graph.traversal. Now you can see that we have six vertices and six edges. Let's query the vertices. You can see that there are six vertices. Let's query the edges now. There are six edges. So this is how we have imported the data into Janus graph. Now let's go back to the slides and see how to export the same data. So the way of exporting data is exactly same with only one difference. In the previous slide, we saw that we have a utility called read graph here we have a utility called write graph. Just by changing this, we can export the whole data of graph into a file. If you want to export the data in JSON format, you just need to use graphson. And if you want to export the data in XML format, we need to use graphml. Now let's go back to the terminal and try the same. In the previous command, we'll just change write graph. and just provide a file name in which we need to export the data. Let's hit enter. Let's see if we have the data in the file. Let's copy this. Let's open a new terminal. Let me zoom this also. Let's use Vim editor to view the file. See, you can see that we have all the data in a JSON format. We can export the same into a GraphML format also. Let's try that also. Let's go back to the terminal. Let's just change the file format. And also the input. And hit enter. Now let's see if this XML file is created or not. Let's view the file. We can see that the data is available in an XML format. So this is how we can import and export data using a gremlin console. In case of any doubts, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching the video.